just how expensive can child support and, let's face it, baby mama support get? Let's get right to it with... Number 7, Nick Cannon. TV personality Nick Cannon rose to fame with The Nick Cannon Show in 2002 and since then has hosted some of the most popular shows like America's Got Talent and The Masked Singer. But Cannon's career isn't the only reason he's become a household name. He has 12 kids, including twins with singer Mariah Carey and kids with Ray Tiesi, Lanisha Cole, Brittany Bell, Abby De La Rosa, and model Alyssa Scott. Having that many children isn't cheap, and Cannon may just be paying as high as up to $3 million annually in child support. California law takes into account the quality of life a child would have if their parents were together, meaning the children need to have the same lifestyle with their mothers as they would with their fathers. Since Cannon does earn plenty of dough with all the work he does, and this of course is the reason he has big payouts to each of his baby mamas. Cannon has handled all his child support negotiations away from the courts, meaning that the amount he pays isn't public information. Considering California law and Cannon's annual income, these women are receiving a varying amount of income, depending on how many children they have with him. Cannon probably doles out about $40,000 a month to Lanisha Cole, the mother of his daughter, Onyx Ice, Brie Tiesi, who welcomed their child legendary Love Cannon in July 2022, also receives about that amount, as did Alyssa after giving birth to another of Cannon's kids. Brittany Bell, who shares three children with Nick, probably makes about $80,000 monthly. Cannon could be paying Abby De La Rosa as much as $1 million annually on top of the home he bought for in 2022. The only person Cannon probably doesn't have to worry about paying is Mariah Carey, who likely makes more than him. If that's the case, he might not have to pay her anything. Cannon and the mothers of his children handle their child support agreements privately, which is why the general public doesn't know exactly how much he pays each of his baby mamas. This suggests that he's paying them generously, giving them no reason to take him to court. Also, $3 million could be a conservative number. When The Sun reported that Cannon was spending that amount annually, he claimed he spent much more than that on his children. He explained he never planned on involving the governmental system in his arrangements with his children's mothers. Cannon shows no signs of slowing down. In over two years, he welcomed nine children to the world with five separate women. Tragically, Cannon lost one of his children at five months old to brain cancer. In December 20. 2022, Abby De La Rosa gave birth to Cannon's 12th child. Cannon is like the Oprah of pregnancies. You get a baby, and you get a baby, and you get a baby. Number six, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson has starred in blockbuster hits such as Zoolander, Meet the Parents, and Wedding Crashers. He reportedly pays $36,560 per month in child support to Varuni Vongserverades, the mother of his daughter, Lila. He spends around $438,720 annually on his daughter's expenses. Wilson also made a one-off payment of Vongserverades, $103,128, to cover expenses like Lila's birth, her nightmare, Nurse and Vongs for Varadis labor coach and legal fees. Wilson and Vongs Varadis had dated for five years before splitting in 2018. Vongs Varadis filed a paternity petition five months before Lila was born. Before shelling out any money, Wilson demanded a DNA test. It came back positive, confirming that Wilson is Lila's biological father. However, that didn't mean he wanted to meet her. Wilson checked the none under visitation rights in the court documents, despite their child support agreement. While he regularly pays for her upkeep, Wilson has shown no interest in being a part of her life. However, he did agree to add her to his Screen Actors Guild SAG medical insurance. Lila isn't Wilson's only biological child. He has two sons, one with ex-girlfriend Jade Dwell, and another with his former fitness instructor Caroline Ligfist. Vonks Ferratis spoke out against her daughter's father, claiming he would be a great father to Lila if he were just willing to get to know her. Sadly, Wilson made it clear he wanted zero visitation rights. The pair's on and off again relationship ended back Badly, and it seems there are still hard feelings. Vonks Ferrari stated that the last time she spoke to Wilson was when she told him she was pregnant, after which he changed his number without telling her. Maybe he should be known as Lightning McAbsent. 
Number five, Kanye West. Kanye West, or now simply just known as Ye, needs no introduction. Although now he's known to some people as Kim Kardashian's ex-husband. Ye and Kardashian called it quits and filed for divorce in February 2021 after seven years of marriage. The former couple have four children together who mostly live with Kardashian. The pair reached a divorce settlement that included joint custody of the children, meaning Ye and Kardashian have legal and physical custody of each child and will share the responsibility of deciding things such as the kids' education and health care. Despite the joint custody. Part of the arrangement was that Ye would pay Kardashian $200,000 a month in child support since the kids mostly live with her. Ye has become known for his controversial statements and behaviors over the years. He had outbursts on social media where he called out other celebrities and publicly ended major corporate partnerships. West's social media posts were so outlandish that Twitter and Instagram restricted his access and removed posts and comments the public figure had made that were deemed anti-Semitic. Despite his controversial activities, Ye wanted to stay a part of his children's lives. Part of the divorce settlement included that the children couldn't live more than 60 miles from Kardashian's home in Hidden Hills near LA before they finished high school or turned 19. While child support was included in the divorce paperwork, it stipulated that neither Ye nor Kardashian would pay each other spousal support. Rather than providing financial assistance to each other, they chose to remain responsible for their own debts. When it came to child-related expenses like the children's schooling, college, and security, the exes agreed to split them down the middle. Their goal was to allow their kids to maintain their privileged lifestyle and day-to-day -day activities without disruption. Therefore, Ye agreed to the monthly payments $200,000 for his kids. Part of giving the children the best lifestyle possible includes their tuition. All four attend Sierra Canyon School, a private day school in LA. Tuition ranges from $20,000 yearly for pre-K students to $40,770 for high schoolers. Number four, Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan is now best known as a TV personality and former NFL superstar. Strahan played for the New York Giants, famously helping the Giants win the Super Bowl over the heavily favored and undefeated at the time New England Patriots in his final season in 2007. He also has hosted hit morning shows like Good Morning America and Live with Kelly and Michael. Despite his successful career and public persona, Strahan fell behind on his child support payments to his ex-wife Jean Muggle Strahan. She claimed he had underpaid her as they never adjusted the monthly amount they originally agreed upon for cost of living expenses. Strahan allegedly owes significant child support for his twin daughters, Sophia and Isabella. Jean claimed Strahan owned her money for their daughter's equestrian expenses since 2017. In legal documents, Strahan denied ever agreeing to pay for the equestrian expenses, although Jean claimed they'd arranged to split the cost. Jean wanted $225,000 from Strahan for the equestrian expenses and $321,654 in back support. In total, she wanted 547 k from her ex-husband. The couple were married for 17 years before they called it quits in 2006. The judge awarded Jean $15.3 million in their divorce and ordered Strahan to pay $18,000 in monthly child support. However, the amount decreased in 2009 to under 13 k a month. Jean's argument for the increase stems from Strahan paying her the lowered monthly amount while making significant money through his hosting jobs and endorsement deals. Strahan didn't deny that their arrangement called for cost of living expenses, but wanted a clear formula to come up with a number rather than throwing around random figures. Baby mama drama surrounding equestrian expenses. Relatable. Number three, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt has had a very public marriage and divorce from fellow A-lister Angelina Jolie, whom he had met while filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Despite her high net worth, Jolie filed paperwork in the Los Angeles Superior Court alleging that he barely paid any child support since their separation in September of 2016. Pitt denied the allegations, claiming he'd easily paid millions of dollars for his children since the split, stating he'd spent far more than any judge would have stipulated. Rather than involve the courts, the exes handled child support through an, an informal agreement, but a According to California law, oral agreements have a two-year statute of limitations. Jolie and Pitt have six children together, but conversations over their children got so heated that they needed a judge to intervene as neither of the actors could agree upon a visitation agreement. The judge created a detailed schedule for Pitt to spend time with the children. Jolie's lawyer, Samantha Blee DeGene, deemed Jolie's claims in the court filing that Pitt wasn't paying 50% of the children's expenses were legally and factually accurate. Pitt counterclaimed that he loaned Jolie $8 million 
to buy a home and paid her $1.3 million as child support. His claim seemed to be an effort to manipulate the narrative and take attention away from his legal obligations as a father. Pitt always claimed he's paid millions in child support, although the only money that seemed to have been exchanged was the home loan. The Jean clarified that a loan wasn't the same as child support. Kinda sounds like Brad Pitt had dug himself quite the hole. See what we did? Okay, we're moving on. Number two, Sean Diddy Cone. Sean Combs, also known simply as Diddy, is well known for living an extravagant lifestyle that's bordering on caricature. Combs' ex-girlfriend, Misa Hilton Brim, requested a pay increase in his child support. The increase was from $5,000 a month to $21,782, the highest child support payment in the state of New York. P. Diddy contested the appeal, claiming it was an attack on his character. He stated he already took care of his son to the fullest and that there was no reason for the increase, but the court upheld the increase. Combs asserted he paid for his son's health insurance, vacations, clothes, tuition, and more, totaling around $120,000 annually. He also paid child support to Kim Porter, the mother of his second child. Reports stated he paid her over $30,000. Although, Combs denied the claim, clarifying that she received $12,000 monthly. He also claimed that he paid Porter more because she covered all of the child's expenses, including health care. Although he was upset about the increase, Combs claimed he held no grudge against Hilton Brim. He said that their relationship was good and that he forgave her for seeking legal action against him. Then he went back to just walking around in nice clothes and looking important. Before we get to number one, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to stay tuned right here for our past release about the biggest gold diggers around. Number 1. Eddie Murphy Comedian and actor Eddie Murphy shells out thousands of dollars each month in child support for his daughter Angel Iris, who he shares with former Spice Girl Melanie Brown. Despite Brown getting pregnant during their romantic relationship, Murphy denied being Angel's father until paternity test results proved she was his daughter. Murphy originally agreed to pay Brown $25,000 a month in child support. Brown later requested additional financial assistance from Murphy due to a change in her income. The pair created a new child support arrangement where Murphy's payments increased to 35,000 bucks. He also agreed to pay Brown's legal fees. Angel Iris isn't Murphy's only kid, as he has nine other kids with four other different women. In Brown's 2018 memoir, she claimed that she and Murphy were in love with one another and had plans to marry. Murphy even got a tattoo of her name on his thigh. Since she got pregnant during their relationship and planned the pregnancy together, she was shocked when he denied being the baby's father. The relationship soured when Brown announced she was returning home to Leeds, UK for a few days to think about their relationship after talks of buying a house together broke down. Brown returned to Los Angeles a few days later, determined to fix things with Murphy. While she was in the air, a TV reporter asked Murphy about the pregnancy, to which he responded that he was no longer with Brown and didn't know who the baby's father was. Brown confirmed in her memoir that Murphy apologized for denying the paternity of Angel Iris and wishes he'd never said anything as the couple planned on having a child together all along. Are these people some of the smartest gold diggers around? Number 8. Brittany Renner. Back in 2020, Instagram model Brittany Renner married NBA star PJ Washington, a union between two types of people that goes as well as peanut butter and jelly. But it also seems that professional athletes are a pretty standard target for gold diggers from Instagram. So was this true love or was this gold digging? Surprise, surprise. Two weeks after having a kid with him, she filed for divorce allegedly receiving $200,000 in child support every month. That's a truly crazy number, especially for such a short relationship. The two met at a game at the University of Kentucky before his NBA career. Maybe she was acting like a talent scout, making sure that her future husband would make it into the NBA. After the messy breakup, Washington made a bunch of vague tweets that were almost certainly about Britney. He wrote about how he can't stand liars and that you'll always reap what you sow. In 2018, Renner posted a video saying that you'll get a lot of money if you get with an athlete because they're dumb. Her words, not ours. If only someone had shown Washington this video before he ended up marrying her, he could have saved himself a lot of money. Hall of Fame NFL player Deion Sanders, who coaches at Jackson State University, had Renner talk with his players. Renner told them to scrutinize their relationships from this point forward in what was basically a watch out for gold diggers talk. Everybody has a motive. Number 7. Amy Irving Amy Irving is an actress who starred in the original version of Carrie and the Oscar-winning Amadeus. She was going to be in Raiders of the Lost Ark as well, but 
Breaking up with her then-boyfriend, Steven Spielberg, kind of messed that up. However, they worked out their problems and ended up getting married in 1985. Sadly, their marriage only lasted four years. Spielberg thought he could get out of giving her half his money because they signed a prenup, but this wasn't a normal agreement. Nope, they wrote their prenup on a napkin. The couple signed the napkin, but the judge didn't consider it legally binding. She ended up walking with $100 million in the divorce. In an interview, Irving said she didn't enjoy being married to someone as famous as Spielberg, saying it was like being married to a politician. A few years after divorcing him, she married another director, Bruno Barreto. Their marriage lasted nine years, and then she moved on to her third director husband, Kenneth Bowser Jr. She definitely has a type. And if you're an actress, it can't hurt your career to have your type be famous directors. Number 6. Gabriel Aubrey In 2014, a judge ordered Halle Berry to pay child support to her ex, Canadian model Gabriel Aubrey. She originally had to pay him $16,000 a month, which equals to $192,000 a year. He was basically making as much as a doctor because he broke up with Halle Berry. After some legal negotiation, Aubrey only got $8,000 a month instead. His free money was cut in half, but he was still getting more than most people ever get for their actual job. Barry also had to pay him a retroactive support payment of $85,000. On social media, Barry has described these huge child support payments as extortion. The two of them had what can only be described as a wild breakup. Barry's then fiance, Oliver Martinez, performed a citizen's arrest on Aubrey. He and Barry also got a restraining order that prevented Aubrey from coming within 100 yards of them or their daughter. To get back at them, Aubrey got his own restraining order. The custody battle heated up when, according to Aubrey, Martinez threatened to take his life if Aubrey didn't let him move to France with Barry. Audrey obviously didn't want them to move to France since it would mean seeing his kid less. Hopefully, all of that drama is in the past as Barry is currently with singer Van Hunt. Number 5. Ellen Nordegren Ellen Nordegren's divorce from Tiger Woods in 2009 was a massive media event. Woods admitted to cheating on her after his car accident and publicly announced that he was retiring from golf to focus on his marriage. He must not have focused enough because they still ended up getting divorced. Nordegren's sister, who's a lawyer in Sweden, helped her win $100 million from Tiger. She spent $12 million of that to buy a massive mansion in Florida. After Tiger, Nordegren started dating Chris Klein, a billionaire oil tycoon. He was 22 years older than her, so there were some questions about her intentions. Was she dating him for his good looks and charming personality? We don't know. Unfortunately, Klein died in a helicopter crash in 2019. Nordegren's next man was NFL player Jordan Cameron. Number 4. Kim Kardashian Clearly, Kim is mega rich today. But that wasn't always the case. Back in May 2011, Kim Kardashian got engaged to NBA player Chris Humphreys. He was playing for the Nets at the time, and they'd been dating since October 2010. They got married on August 20th. Ever the savvy businesswoman, Kim released a wedding-themed perfume called Kim Kardashian Love. At the same time, the wedding was also accompanied by a two-part TV special all about the preparation and the actual ceremony itself. Most people lose money on their wedding, but Kim profited off the whole thing. After just 72 days of marriage, Kim filed for divorce, claiming they simply had their differences. What were these differences that she didn't notice 72 days prior? The world may never know. Many people at the time said that the whole thing was a publicity stunt to promote the Kardashian brand and reality show. If that was the case, then it worked. A man who claimed to be Kim's former publicist, Jonathan Jackson, supported the theory that it was all for publicity. His name, like Kardashians, has alliteration, so maybe he's telling the truth. He came out and said that the whole thing was staged and was just for money. Kim responded by filing a lawsuit against him and saying he was lying. They settled the case and Jackson publicly apologized. But that doesn't necessarily mean he wasn't telling the truth. After the 72-day marriage, a petition circulated around the internet trying to remove all Kardashian-related programming from the airwaves. It didn't work, although we're sure some people wish it had. Number 3. Crystal Harris In January of 2009, Crystal Harris began dating someone who was 60 years older than her, Mr. Playboy himself, Hugh Hefner. 
He was 83 at the time, and she was only 23. When she was born in 1986, he was already a 60-year-old man. Was this gold digging at its finest? Crystal was Hefner's third wife, but she almost wasn't his wife at all. Just five days before their planned wedding, she suddenly and unexpectedly broke off the engagement. But they ended up working it out and got married anyway. It would have been awkward if they hadn't gotten married since that month's issue of Playboy had the headline, Introducing Mrs. Crystal Hefner. The two remained married until Hefner died in 2017. Crystal wasn't in Hugh Hefner's will, and they had a prenup which meant she was unlikely to get anything if they had divorced. But because they were married at the time of his death, she was still entitled to a pretty big payout. She got $7 million and inherited a $5 million house in Hollywood Hills that he had left in a trust for her. The rest of his $45 million fortune was split between his kids and different charities. Crystal has always maintained in interviews that she married Hefner because they were in love and money had nothing to do with it. The public has been understandably skeptical of this version of their relationship. Number 2. Oriane Sive Oriane Sive and her ex-husband, Phil Collins, have not had the most graceful divorce. They were married from 1999 to 2006. Then they got back together from 2016 to 2019. Then they broke up again. It's been a roller coaster, and their latest legal battle is over their Miami mansion. Phil Collins attempted to have Sive kicked out of the mansion in 2020 after he discovered that she had secretly remarried and moved her new husband into the mansion. Understandably, Collins didn't want a strange man living in his house. She argued that since she had lived there for six years, it was just as much her house as it is his, even though he's the one who actually bought it. Sive refused to leave and claimed that she was entitled to half of the mansion's value under a verbal cohabitation agreement. Unlike written agreements, these sorts of verbal agreements can be a lot trickier to verify. In her official filings with the court, Sive included a variety of insults aimed at Collins, including remarks about his hygiene and performance in the bedroom. However, a judge ordered her comments removed from the record. Besides, social media is a better place for that sort of thing, not official legal documents. Phil Collins paid Sive $47 million in their official divorce settlement. But this must not have been enough, seeing as how she's after the mansion as well. However, she's not in desperate need of a house. She already has her own $5.5 million property in Fort Lauderdale. It has six bedrooms, a pool, a spa, a home theater, and a dock that's so big you can park a 90-foot yacht right by the house. Her new man, Tom Bates, has worried that his own musical career will live forever in Colin's shadow. Bates said that he's actually a lifelong Collins fan and has nothing but respect for him. Collins fans may not necessarily share this love, however. The two of them didn't stay married for long. They got divorced in 2020. Save blamed the pandemic, claiming the emotional stress of quarantine caused her to act out of character. Number 1. Evelyn Lozada In a radio interview, former NBA player Antoine Walker claimed that his longtime girlfriend, Evelyn Lozada, wasn't what the public thought she was. Lozada, a star on the reality show Basketball Wives, benefited from his NBA career. She and her family got plenty of perks because she was dating someone who made $100 million playing basketball. But, according to Walker, when he lost all his money in the 2008 financial crash, she broke up with him. He realized she might not have been dating him for his charming personality. They started dating in 1999, and she became famous in her own right by being on Basketball Wives. After this interview came out, Lazada said that she wasn't just dating him for the money. On Twitter, she said that he needed to move on and that she broke up with him because he was cheating. However, her romantic life after Walker does seem to indicate that she has a type, that type being rich athletes. She was married to NFL star Chad Johnson, aka Chad Ochocinco, for less than one year. They were together from July 2012 to September 2012. After that, she moved on to her third sport when she began dating baseball player Carl Crawford in 2013. In December of 2013, they announced that they were getting engaged and had a son together the following year. But then, in 2017, they ended up calling off the engagement. Click to watch one of these next videos. Let us know in the comments section what you think makes more sense. A flat rate child support based on cost of living for the city or child support based on the income of whoever's paying.